Welcome to another Jay Crazy News Headlines and a special Wednesday night to the watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, crime is rising. So far, there's a few months in the new year, 186 persons have been murdered. 186 persons have been murdered, my viewers and my subscribers. And we are just heading into the month of March, the third month in 2023. And let's keep right now, the young man known as Trevon Larson, aka Speng Wang. Now Speng Wang was murdered by a gunman in a place called Railway Lane in Montego Bay, St. James. Now based on information, around 7.10 p.m. Monday night, Larson and the persons were at a roadway standing and talking when an axio pulled up and the window was wind down. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, shots were heard ringing from that car afterwards and Larson was hit multiple times when the government escaped in that vehicle. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, Spang Wang was no saint, he wasn't no angel. His name was called upon multiple murders, robberies and even alleged rape of a little girl. Even going to prison a couple times my viewers and my subscribers. Now, based on information, when he does his dirt and them can't catch him, his family members feel the full blunt of his actions. So, it's unfortunate that this young man travel into a life of negativity, but he was caught sleeping by his rivals on Monday night. You see people, I say it's time and time again to youngsters, when you venture in a life of crime, you will not have a good life. You can't sleep, you have to constantly looking over your shoulder. And, and when you venture into the life of violence and crime, whether by robberies, murders, shoplifting, larceny, you name it, you will, will never come out to be a person that lives long. You will never have a fun life and your lifespan will definitely be cut short. But to the young men out there, this is how wise telling to you that a life of crime, it may pay at the beginning, but trust me, you're going to live a life of constant danger and you will be targeted you'll be marked for death as well. So, do a good deed and good deed will follow you. Proceed to be bad and the bad will come after you. Now we head to the parish of St. Elizabeth aka St. Bess, the breadbasket of Jamaica. But in recent times, this parish has become so bloody. Bodies are being found, people have been murdered in this parish, and the police are scratching their head. They're basically clueless as what's taking place in that parish. Now this morning around 6 a.m., a skeleton remain was found in a car in the Appleton Estate in St. Bess. Now based on information, the man who was at Kenneth Barnes was found burned Ryan recognition his skeletons found inside the car now you know by all means he was murdered and the criminals set the car with his body inside and he was burned to death there's a trend growing in the parish of St. Elizabeth where gunmen criminals not the police in St. Bess take time they're not really speedy to solve cases what they do they kill their victims get rid of all evidence and make it hard for the police to really find evidence and find who the criminals who did these kinds of act and also my viewers and my subscribers a woman was also found in Burton Town 
In a section of St. Bess, which is called Burton Town, a lady who is not known at the moment and it seems to be not from the community in St. Elizabeth was found face down in water, my viewers and my subscribers, river to be exact, near to Black River. Now, based on allocation, she had a tattoo on her right ankle. She also had on black brassiere, pink underwear, and a khaki looking pants, my viewers and my subscribers. But catch it with right now. She was seen you know, in the same community with a man a day before she was murdered. It could have been that she's from a different community in St. Elizabeth or she's from a different parish. But that man the resident saw wit a day before she was murdered need to be found because I believe he is the prime suspect of the murder of this woman. Now she's in her late 30s to early 40s, my viewers and my subscribers. But so far, she has yet to be identified. The police are investigating. Now we head towards the parish of Westmoreland, a parish that doesn't take day off or week off or months off when it comes down to bloodshed and murder. Westmoreland is occurring when it comes down to violence, my viewers and my subscribers. And the key right now is 40 year old O'Neill Smith, aka San, a businessman of Goodwood District in the parish of Westmoreland. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, this morning, shortly after 4 a.m., San was murdered outside the Scrubadog Exotic Club at a cook shop while purchasing food. Now, shortly after 4 a.m., San stepped out of Scrubadog nightclub and went to purchase food at a cook shop near the club. Now, waiting for his food, gunmen came on the scene and spot him. After which shots rang out, my viewers and my subscribers. The gunmen made good their escape. Now, when the smoke was clear, Tan was found face down with gunshot wounds to his head and his upper body, my viewers and my subscribers. May I tell you, what could have caused this to happen? What did Oni Smith do to get such a brutal death? Well, buying food, my viewers and my subscribers. This man leave him children or a child. And now his child or kids are fatherless. Now we head towards Kingston, my viewers and my subscribers. And the screen right now is a late dancer artist who is known us. Emmanuel Elliston, aka Al Kual. So they call him Al Kual. Was murdered this morning around 1 a.m. between Sadritan and Burlington Avenue, my viewers and my subscribers. That is in Kingston 10. Now, based on information by the halfway tree police, now Al Kual, who is from Lanchester Avenue in Kingston 10, was lying face down in a pool of blood this morning around 1 a.m. Now, based on information, residents heard loud explosions. The police were called. When the police came on the scene, they saw dancer artist Alcohol lying in a pool of blood, taking the place of recovery where it was pronounced dead. The police are investigating. Now, music fraternity mourned the loss of this young man. He was a promising rising star and dancer, and his life was cut short. But my viewers and my subscribers, we don't know what took place, why this young man lost his life. But I'm sure the police will tell us shortly on what occurred and who did it and why. Now, in Spanish town, my viewers and my subscribers, the tension arising between Thompson Pen and also Shelter Rock. Sunday night, my viewers and subscribers shot round out Sunday night, killing a man known as Boopy. Now, Boopy was said to be a trigger man behind the killing of Finey, who is from Shelter Rock. So, Boopy's killing on Sunday night in Thompson Pen, Old Road to be exact, was a reprisal for the killing of Finey, which happened 
in January. This is J Quiz News once again. Until then, bless up. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing. Then J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing. Then. Review the thing, them review the thing, them. Check crazy. Reviewing news, entertainment, and celebrity lifestyle. Review the thing, them review the thing, them. Check crazy.